<laughs> Good evening, everyone. I'm Joshua Oral, the Mustang Prince. Welcome to Mustang Prince Oral Reports. Well, everyone, it's October. People are setting up their houses with skeletons, cobwebs, and jack-o'-lanterns, which means Halloween, one of my favorite holidays next to Christmas, is right around the corner. And this month, I think it's a great month to blog some creepy and funny Halloween-related family films. So, what shall my first Halloween episode of this year be? Hmm. Well, I guess a lot of you guys don't really know too much about Leica animation. Leica is a stop motion studio which used to be known as Will Vinton Studios, thanks to my favorite reviewer for telling me that a couple years ago. Anyway, in the past, their first two stop motion films like Paranorman and Coraline were absolute blasts for me. I even got a chance to talk about them on my top 25 Halloween films last year. However, today's film just so happens to be their most recent release, which happens to be about trolls. Hmm, I wonder if it'll kick these films' butts. Well, let's find out anyway. Released on September 26, 2014, the movie is The Box Trolls. So, let's begin. In the village of Cheesebread, a Victorian era bird obsessed with wealth, class, and stinky fine cheeses. Eggs, a young orphan boy raised by the box trolls, a little group of underground cave-dwelling trash collectors, tries to save his friends from an evil exterminator, Archibald Snatcher, with the help of a wealthy local girl named Winnie. So, what did I think of this movie? Well, I really liked it. Surely, one of the best films I've seen this year, so far. But let's just talk about some more in my Mustang notes. <clears throat> in June 2008, Leica unveiled a slate of projects in development. Among was also an animated feature adaption of the Alan Snow novel called Here Be Monsters. Now, I haven't really heard of that book before, but if I happen to find that at my local library, I might give it a watch someday. Anyway, animation technique not yet decided. <laughs> Anthony Stackey was set to direct the movie. Leica announced on February 7, 2013 that the adaption will be their next 3D stop-motion feature under the title The Box Trolls. Directed by Stachy and Graham Annabelle, it was scheduled to be released on October 17, 2014, but it moved up to May 2013 to, uh, to September 26, 2014. Focus features will hold worldwide distribution rights to the box trolls, and Universal Pictures internationally released the movie overseas, with E1 Distribution handling Canada. Now, the stop motion is like, in my eyes, is the best thing about the entire film. In fact, Leica has improved a lot since Coraline. Since, while I wa watched the movie, it looks so smooth that it looks almost like it was computer animated. Plus, I like how Cheese Bridge is in this film. I mean, it's kind of interesting design.
I mean, like, a whole town built on a hill? Hmm. Seems kind of weird, huh? Now on to voices. Now, I'll only be talking about the characters who I find that are interesting. To me, that is. So, I won't be talking about too many of the townspeople, though. The main character, Eggs, is voiced by new actor Isaac Hem Hempstead Wright. Eggs is an orphan human boy who's been raised by the box trolls. Now, in my eyes, Eggs was kind of a little forgettable, but he's still a good character nonetheless. However, sometimes his behavior kind of reminds me of Tarzan. Sorta. But it makes me wonder how he learned English when the trolls only speak a silly kind of gibberish. Next we have Winnie Portly Rind, who is, well, surprisingly voiced by Elle Fanning. Man, she hasn't ceased to amaze me this year. First she's the beautiful Princess Aurora in Maleficent. And now she's a little rich girl in this movie. Man. However, in my eyes, Winnie is a really adorable character, even if she was a bit of a brat in some parts of the film. However, in this film, she's kind of a little bit of an outcast in her own home, because her father never listens to her and several other kids. But I like how she does help eggs fit into society, fit into civilization, I mean. And now we have our villain, Archibald Snatcher, a nasty pest exterminator voiced by Ben Kingsley. This guy, I can easily tell was the villain from how, from the way he's designed, which makes him really creepy and disturbing. He's even scarier with his dangerous machines and even when he inflates when he eats cheese. It's also kind of disturbing when he cross-dresses a couple times as well. And now the last characters I want to talk about are the box trolls themselves. Now these guys are pretty much like the most funniest characters in the film. They're almost like the Despicable Me Minions. Because they invent stuff, and as I said earlier, they speak in a silly sort of gibberish. And their underground home almost makes me think of Jim Henson's Fraggle Rock. Also, they have a neat way of, like, camouflaging with themselves by stacking themselves or hiding in their boxes. And now, a few of them are voiced by either, like, five actors. They are voiced by Dee Bradley Baker, Steve Blum, Nika Futterman, Fred Tachashore, and Pat Freely. And now, to move on to my final words. Above all, the Box Trolls is a great movie. The stop motion animation is amazing. A few characters are unforgettable, but some parts of the film can be a bit disturbing and mature at times. So if you plan to have your kids watch this movie, make sure you see it with them. And trust me, you'll both have a great time as you had with Coraline and Paranorman. I give this film a 96%. Well, that's all for tonight, everybody. Be sure to join me next time as we move away from Laika and on to Europa before we go to Paris once again. Mustang Power!
<laughs> when I want, I will pillage and plunder. I'll bellow and thunder, make you shake and moan. Get in my way, and I'll get you forever. Because I'll turn you into stone. I'm the queen of me. About my clout, I'm the queen of oh, the Absolutely the queen, the queen. I'm the queen mean of mean. I'm the meanest queen you've ever seen. You should have no doubt about my clout. I'm the queen 